hello my viewers and welcome back to my channel for those who are here for the very first time please subscribe because you will find my videos both interesting and intriguing give my videos a thumbs up by simply tapping on the like button and feel free to be part of the conversation by simply sharing your views or opinions rather in the comment section down below with that said let's get into today's video now in today's video we get to look at a compelling video where an asian man deeply questions the authenticity of nasa's space missions now this is not something new because we have been talking about this and their projects now in this video he shares his own perspective as he challenges the narrative surrounding space exploration but according to nasa they claim that they have conducted numerous space missions including uncrewed and uncrewed missions to study and explore various celestial bodies and that some of their achievements include sending astronauts to the moon exploring mars with rovers like curiosity and contributing to international space endeavors but a lot of people doubt a lot of their work if not all of it so join me as we take a look through his arguments, scrutinize evidence, and talk more about this. I will be right back. All space missions are fake. There is no satellite in, in space. I give you some uh, numbers you think about. If you ask uh, NASA and the SpaceX, How high can the best go straight up? They will answer you. But you can Google, you can ask Charlie GPT. What's the best rate? How high can the best go straight up? I searched Google and the information showed the two answers. Before it says 72 miles straight up. And lately, the new information says SpaceX is two stage, they can go straight up to 92 miles. That's the top. The highest uh, altitude can go. It doesn't matter your size, more stages. It doesn't matter. Mass ejection technology. The more fuel you carry, the needed the more fuel to lift up. How can, how can they can go straight up only 92 miles? But if they go sideways, they can go up to the 500 kilometer above Earth, go to the SpaceX Starlink satellite orbit. They said that they are opening at 500 km above Earth. They couldn't fly that far. They go straight up only 92 miles. How can they reach 500 miles above Earth? It's all lies. I'll give you another example. If you use a starting satellite, uh, use a starting uh, internet, you watch your, the, your receiver. Your receiver is only, only pointed to one way. It's not moving, only pointed to a certain direction. How, how can the, the satellite moving around the Earth and your satellite don't follow the satellite, you can get a signal. All the satellite dishes are not moving, not a follow moving objects. They are pointed to one direction. Think about it. There is no satellites. All fake. All the satellites are, are hiding under the hidden balloons, weather balloons. In the last few years, you see a lot of starting trends in the sky, right? People made a lot of videos. They can see starting trends in the sky. With the naked eyes. If you Google, you go Google the, the information, the starting satellites are table size. Can you see a tight table 500 kilometers away? The ISS, according to NASA, is a football field size. It's 30,000 times, 20,000 times bigger than starting satellites. But it will be the only 350 kilometers above Earth. It is so big, so closer than starting the satellites. How come nobody can see the ISS in the sky? It's all lies. It's all fake. Think about it. There is no, no space mission. The only thing orbit Earth is the moon. That's the only satellite the Earth has. All the main satellites are fake. It's all fake, people. There is no space mission. NASA and all the China, Japan, all these 
the space agency are money laundering machines. They just laundry tax money. There's no space mission. Human can never leave the, leave the Earth, go visit the moon. Because the physical laws limited what the technology can do. It use mass ejection technology. It's impossible to escape Earth gravity. Men can never visit the moon. Mark my word. Never, never, never. Forever. We can never escape gravity to visit the moon. Because nature don't have this kind of technology. Nature physical laws limited what a technology can do. It's like people run, run 100 meters, take about 10 seconds. Doesn't matter how advanced we, we are in the future. Nobody, no, no human can run 100 meters, 3 seconds. Because nature has limitation. We can never visit the moon. Never, never. Stay on Earth. Be peaceful. Enjoy your life. Welcome back from that educative video. Let's now get into the heart of this discussion. You all will agree with me that he is not the only one, or the first one rather, to bring receipts on how fake NASA's space missions are. Now, it's almost 50 years now since NASA, otherwise known as not a space agency, or never a straight answer by people, allegedly sent six successful manned missions to the moon. For these past five decades, skeptics and critical thinkers have completely exposed and debunked every aspect of these supposed moon landings including the disappearing original Apollo video. Audio and telemetry data. Now there are fake photographs, fake moon rocks, studio backdrops, studio props, studio lighting, studio wires and edited videos. Thanks to mainstream media monopolies and heavy censorship however, the majority of the population still believe men actually walked on the moon. Now 50 years of technological progress and innovation has passed since the crappy computers that were there in in the late 60s and early 70s along with hundreds of billions of taxpayer dollars given to nasa since then and they still don't have the common decency to give us a good old-fashioned boom landing with trained astronauts. now the fakery with the new nasa artemis moon machine as usual was present right from the initial launch even though they try to pretend otherwise the old adage what goes up must come down applies to absolutely everything including nasa's ours every projectile pupil upwards will eventually begin to arc form a parabola and come right back down to earth as evidenced literally every rocket nasa has ever launched now these rockets are always pupued with their arc facing the same direction which just happens to be smacked up the middle of the bermuda triangle nasa says of course the roots are intentionally making these parabolical so that gravity can somehow slingshot them somehow into outer space a completely an evidence claim which their fans just accept without questioning. But for the skeptical and critical thinkers, a careful examination of the photo and video evidence proves that this is impossible. Extremely impossible. Now, the extreme arc and angle compared to the relatively short distance these take on their parabolicals shows they are clearly coming right back down to Earth. Now, this is also apparent by the fact that shortly after the rockets are out of view, NASA always changes from showing live real footage to nothing but CGI for the rest of the broadcast. Anyone watching the NASA Atomos launch live would have noticed the stark contrast from the clear real footage being received for the first few minutes to the clearly fake CGI footage being shown for the next several hours. Now, nobody bothers to ask why we can't have multiple live videos facing all directions for the entire flight. Why do we only get whatever little snippet NASA decides to share rather than full and edited footage from multiple angles for their entire duration of the flight? Even if it cannot be broadcasted live, I feel the NASA tax paying public deserve to see the entire journey and edited from launch to landing of course we have never and will never see such an edited footage which would be simple to provide if you ask me if truly these machines were real there are now clear evidence of nasa using numerous methods to mislead the public about astronauts being on the international space station now we can only agree with what this asian man was saying i mean he went all 
all in on NASA questioning the authenticity of their space missions, which a lot of people do actually. Now, he also went deep into his compelling argument, examining the evidence and sparking a conversation about the legitimacy of NASA's ventures into space. But what do you, my viewers, have to say about this video? Feel free to share your comments, views, opinions, everything on what you think about this video in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.